welcome back to my channel. So it's been a long time because unfortunately I have just been so busy with my work. I've just not really had much time. And then when I had some time, I was either going out, um, you know, doing stuff or um, I would just wanted to sit and chill <laughs> and do colouring for myself. So um, I haven't had time. So don't worry, I have not gone anywhere. I am still intending to keep my channel and everything. I just obviously will change some things to adhere to those new YouTube um, copper laws. So I will still be around and I shall hopefully be making some more videos. So that's why there is no um, completed pics for November because I just did not get around to having the time to make it. So um, I will be making a November and December combined one. So you will get to see that. However, today I thought I would show you some things I got for Christmas because some of you might be interested in some of them. And, you know, if it's something you're interested in and you would like to try it out, I just thought some of you might want to do that. Um, because, you know, I like seeing different products and then thinking, oh, I will try that. So that's why I thought um, you guys might be interested. And also a few things um, I bought like a long time, well, not long, long time ago, like a few months ago. And I just hadn't sort of shown them to you. So I thought I would. So... This is not colouring related, but I really liked them and they were really cute and I'm going to use them in a photograph book. Or I might use them, like some of them in the um, colouring books. Is I got some Hobbycraft Harry Potter stickers. So I went to Hobbycraft, which is like um, a craft store in the UK. And they, have, they do stickers and they have some Harry Potter ones. So these are like loads of little mini ones with... You know stuff from like the houses and characters i think it's just animals so like dobby and hedwig by the looks of things and then also had these bigger ones which had like the gryffindor hufflepuff ravenclaw slytherin houses in and they were like i think these were like two pounds each and i just thought i had to get them because um i'm going to go to disney world in august and i will go to universal studios to go to harry potter world as well so I thought I want to do like a photo album and I thought I could use these in my photo album. And also they brings me on to some amazing Harry Potter washi tape that they also had. I think this was like three pounds or something. So they might still have them in the, if you're from the UK, they might still have these um, there. I don't know if they do them in other countries or not. And this one's coming unstuck. Um, so again, I thought I can use that in my um, colouring, the colouring book. No, I thought I could use these in my photo book, um, photo album. Um, also, I have a feeling these are probably supposed to have a plastic thing over them, aren't they? Oh, well. Um, I might use some of these in um, in colouring books. Perhaps I'll give them, um, somebody can have a lovely Harry Potter, you know, either border or a dress <laughs> or something. I just thought they were really cute, so I thought I'd show them to you. Um, so... Uh, on to a few Christmas presents. I'll do some of the Christmas presents I got. So I finally got some of these KJ Design by Karen Paints that a lot of people, I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see, that a lot of people um have already reviewed and shown. And I thought, I I love metallic paints, so I thought I had to try these. So um I asked my mum if she could get me some for my stockings. So it comes in a really cute little tin. I don't know if you just buy one colour if it comes in a tin or if it just comes on its own, I'm not sure. Um, I think you can swatch them on this little card, but I haven't actually done that. I've done it in my book. So I went for French lavender, golden orchid and gold red. So no, you can't see. As you can see there, so the names are written there. You can take them out. They are magnetic. So it's like a magnetic thing. So you could put them in like a different um, tin. In fact, actually, I could. I've got an, a tin up there actually that they could go in, but I'm quite happy to leave them in this. Um, and they are from the reviews. If you see Colour with Claire, she's done like a good review on them. And I think... Reading with Pugs has as well, and they really are amazing that like, they melt instantly. So with the fine tech ones, I tend to find you have to put a bit of water on it and let it sit for a bit. You really don't have to do it with these. They're really creamy and they're beautiful. And I'll show you what they look like, um, swatch wise. I've done a swatch of them um, over here. Ah. So here they are here. Um, and they're very glittery and they're just so beautiful and I really like them so I went for these colours because um, they were different to because obviously I've got 
lots of metallic colours, so I thought I'd go for some that were a bit different to what I already had. So I went for those, and I have used these, all three of these, in a current picture I'm working on, so you'll see. I'm really hoping I can get it completed in time <laughs> for completed pictures um, for December. I If I finish it January, I may decide to just include it for December, just because it really was a December picture, not, um, you know, not a January one. So um, I think... So then you'll see them in that. Um, the only thing is, is I've noticed, because I, I used the paints first and then I sort of coloured other things around and I've my hands gone over. I've noticed that actually if you smudge it with your hand too much, the glitter, the paint will come off. So I'm going to have to like go back and put it back on. So that's the only thing I would really say, put this on last. If you're going to colour it, I'll put them back up there. Um, the next thing I've got, so I went, I wasn't really sure what I wanted for Christmas as usual. So I knew I wanted some art paint brushes. So I went on Jackson's Art Supplies to have a look for some stuff that my sister could get me. And I found these Winsor Newton Cotman paint brushes, like a pack of seven. And I think they're about £14. Whether they're still £14 now, I don't know. If, so you can have a look on Jackson's Art Supplies. They may, may possibly be on there um, still for this offer, but they also might not. So um, you had like a range of watercolour paint brushes because I wanted to get some watercolour ones and after watching Bob Ross <laughs> I really wanted a fan brush so I could do trees <laughs> because he uses a fan brush to make trees so I was like I want a fan brush so you get quite a lot of different little um, heads so this is like oh and it says on the back like all the heads that you have and what they're suitable for so you've got like a round excellent control for detail and lines this one's the filbert one ideal for broad marks with soft edge so it's quite useful like they tell you what you can use them for so they have like this is quite a uh, one with an edge Co um oh, it's really dark in here, my room for some reason well if i hold it there you can kind of see it's got like a slight edge there and then this is like one that's got like a really long brush head I don't know how or when I'm going to use that one but um I thought they're quite interesting so you know you've just got some generic sort of types there but I thought there was like a good amount like this is like your normal sort of brush that you would normally get for water kind of like basic stuff anyway I got a couple like this anyway um so I thought it's nice and it comes in a nice little handy pouch so I thought that was quite cute so for obviously these were a Christmas present so I didn't have to pay for them but if I was paying them for myself out of pocket I think 14 pounds and I think they're originally like 24 isn't really that bad for these um and I can use them for I mean obviously they're probably better brushes but I thought that Winsor Newton normally are quite a good brand so yeah quite happy for those I haven't used them all yet just a couple um next also from my sister because I was looking up stuff on Jackson's art supplies so, um, I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit there. Um, I had a look, and I know that Colouring with Elena had mentioned Turner Acrylic Wash. I thought, oh, I'll have a little look at this. They did a really cute little set. So, <laughs> this was one of my Christmas presents for my sister. So, this was £35. Um, I don't, I think it may, I'm not sure if it had some money off it or not. <laughs> I'm not really sure. But it was um, not, like, super expensive. So, basically, it comes in, like, this little, like, plastic container and this lid comes off but you can use it as a palette as well which I thought was pretty cool so it comes with some paints um, I'm gonna have to count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 it comes with 13 paints two white ones and they're 20 I think these are 20 millimeters 20 millimeters I think these are 20 of white so you get two whites um this is a palette cleaner it's not paint, it says it's a palette cleaner, so it cleans your palette. So, um, a surface active agent and pro propylene, pre proper, I'm not really sure you see that propylene <laughs> glycol combined to effectively dissolve stubborn, unsightly residues of acrylic paint that persistently stain palettes. So, you've got a palette cleaner. Um, so the colors you get are black, burnt sienna, violet, cobalt blue, uh, sky blue, green, middle. Permanent green light, permanent lemon, permanent yellow deep, permanent scarlet, and permanent red. And you do also get an array of paintbrushes, which I think are quite cute. Now they're very plasticky, as in it feels like a quite a cheap plastic for the handle. But um, I've only used this one so far, um, 
and it's been quite good but i like that you got different heads though so that's quite cool and you also get a ruler oh excuse me that's a little cap you get a ruler <laughs> um which i don't even know is it got i think it's got centimeters on it that look oh yeah it is centimeter i was gonna say i was like that's really big so centimeters so you got um it's just only got 5 10 15 20 25 so this isn't even a 30 centimeter ruler which is standard ruler in the uk by the way um and in fact i got one here standard ruler <laughs> is 30 so this is obviously um five centimeters short um i don't know if it's got inches on the other side see this ruler this is my own ruler by the way this has got inches and centimeters because i know not everyone does centimeters but I think this has just got centimetres on it. And I'm not sure what this square grid thing is for, for something, I'm sure. Um, anywho, so you've got a ruler, which is kind of cool, and your little paint brushes. And you also get this, like, bamboo cloth, which you can use to obviously wipe your palette clean, which I think was kind of cool. Um, so, yeah, I thought for the price, that was pretty good. Um, because the Turner acrylic gouache can be, I wouldn't say excessively expensive, but, like, it's not, like, one of the cheaper brands. Um... So I quite liked them. I haven't really used these paints yet as such. I also, for my stocking, because they also sold them separately. And if you get the 20 mil to this size um, on Jackson Dart Supplies, it was only £3. So I thought, oh, that's not bad. Because I, um, I, my mum needed to get me some stuff for my stocking. So I thought, oh, okay, well, she can get me a couple of those. And then my sister also got me a couple as well. So I decided to supplement some of these colours because... Um, for example, there's no pink. So I got, first of all, got a raw umber. So I got a different kind of brown. Then I've got this pastel pink because I wanted some more pastel -y colours. A pastel rose because I tend to find like, it's really hard to make your own pastel pink colours. Then I've got a lilac. So I've got like a pastel purple. I've also got pastel peach because I thought if I wanted to do any skin sort of colour things, I've got that. That would be good. And I can always use white to make it lighter as well and then I got pastel blue as well and actually these pastel ones have got pastel written on them as well so obviously it's like a pastel range because they do do fluorescent colours as well um so these are all like made in Japan I believe as well so which is pretty cool because that genuinely means I don't know <laughs> good and I've done like a swatch so some of them are quite opaque and then some of them are not so I think this is like they're gouache but I think they're kind of a little bit on the more acrylic side I'm not like 100% sure what that means exactly. But anyway, I've done like a swatch. So the pastel colours are beautiful and they're very opaque. The only issue I have is the jet black was very not opaque. But then I was just, I just sort of opened the lid up like this to do my swatch. I just opened the lid and then I just took for the whatever paint that was on the inside. So it might have just been the paint I was using. So maybe if I put it on the palette, it might come out a bit thicker. So um yeah, and I like the raw, um, because it's more of a brown, whereas the burnt sienna is more of like a reddy brown, so I thought, again, that would be quite difficult to maybe mix the colours, and I, I'm not one that likes to mix a lot of stuff, just because I don't like wasting paint, and then if you've not got enough paint, then it's really hard to match the same colour, so I tend to just prefer having the colour, I mean, I feel like with watercolour paints, it's a bit, it's easier to kind of do that, I mean, you still have the same issue of, you might not make enough of the same colour, but I find like, because these are in tubes, I don't like to waste how, like, too much of the paint, with them but um yeah i really like how opaque these first colors here there's a permanent green middle was a bit i would say a bit more less opaque and the violets are getting on that sort of side but the jet black i was a bit the most disappointed with but that's fine but they look really nice i'm hoping to use them in something sometime <laughs> i just haven't had a chance to get round to it yet but um i'm very excited to use them and i have on the picture that i was saying that i'd use the um, metallic paints on I have used these um, acrylic gouaches for the background because if you watch coloring with Elena she uses some of these paints and this is where I'd heard about the acrylic gouache and this Turner one from her so I thought I would try it myself and I quite like it so my intention is to use them obviously for just doing like normal paintings like I would normally with the gouache paints and stuff but also I thought I could use them to do backgrounds because sometimes you've got big empty spaces and you're like what do I do and I just thought it'd be nice to maybe because these blended like really well like the paper the picture that I've done they blended quite well actually I can show you I tested them out first so actually I'll show you the bit I tested them on um because and it will kind of show you what I've kind of done uh is it this one so here I've tested them out on this um, little page here from the Mysterious Library. Um, and so I had, I did add, 
a bit of water so this is like more watered down rather than solid color but actually they come really nice and they they blend really well into each other so um i really like that and i feel like it was easy to do like so it, because they're a bit thicker it was slightly wet and if you had like watercolor paints they would just run into each other but because these are slightly thicker paints you don't get that that issue so much and i was able to like really like blend the colors in quite nicely so i really like that and then i just sort of tested this out for a sky and then i've used it i have done clouds in the other one i just didn't do the clouds in this one like <laughs> i couldn't be bothered um so i have done it in as the picture in this book which i'll show you at another date <laughs> um i have used it so yeah i really i'm excited about using these these were really cool so um i will get some more colors especially as for this size for, for it to be three pounds isn't bad they do do like another size i think you can pay 14 pounds for 100 milliliters so that must be i don't know what size is this oh okay so you can pay 14 pounds for like this size tube for some they didn't have all the paints um all the colors in this size but they had quite a lot in this size and to be honest i do feel like this size is perfectly fine for me because i'm probably not going to use loads you could get like all of them which was i think they come in 219 colors and you i think can buy all of the colors but it's a lot of money so you're actually probably unless you have a lot of money probably better off just buying a couple of colors and to be honest i'm not sure i'll buy all of the colors ever anyway i think i'm just going to get the ones that i think were nice and they do do pearlescent and metallic ones as well so if that's the sort of thing you want you can i probably won't necessarily get the metallic ones maybe i don't know it depends because i've got quite a lot of metallic paints that i can just use instead so um i might get some you never know wouldn't put it past me um yeah and then like i said you can use this as a paint palette which is really nice so yeah i really liked this set it's, it was called the smart set so there was another one which i can't remember what it was called there was some other set and it had less paints in this one had slightly more paints in which is why i went for this one but they were very similar in price um so yes i was quite grateful to get that for a christmas present again it's something i would have just bought anyway um but and now i'm going to move it out the way <laughs> um so the next thing is i have these two books so um i haven't got loads of coloring books really over the, I mean, I got like uh, Creative Haven, Autumn Scenes and the Christmas one, the Country Christmas one. But I haven't really got many other colouring books recently. Um, So I originally, I just, I, you know, when you order stuff on Amazon, you have to have like so much money's worth to get free delivery. Well, I think this was almost, so if in the UK, if you order books, it's like £10. So this, again, was like a Christmas present. Um. But I was, <laughs> I send, I tend to end up buying my presents and then people just give me the money to, and then they get wrapped under the tree. It's just easier because that way then I like I'm getting it because sometimes my family don't always know like where to get it from or how to do it because, you know, not everyone's very great with technology. Anyway, um, so I got this and then I had to get something else to make it £10 because this I think was seven something and then um, Hatchet Heroes had this. And it was like four pounds. I didn't realise at the time that it was a small book because this is um, a mini size. I did think it was odd that it was four pounds. I thought, ah, oh, it's not normally four pounds, but I thought, oh, I'll get it. And then when I saw a flip through, I did see that it was smaller. And I thought, oh, that's fine. I didn't mind. So it was like a little pocket size. So I think it's got a combination of a couple of pictures from various princess themed books because. I'll just give you like a quick flip through. I've got some of these pictures, I think, already. And they do tend to duplicate their pictures. But um, I know that they had... And I don't think it's going to be in this little flip that I'm showing you. I'm going to have to find it. But um, there's an alphabet book. And they have a picture from that in here. So that's so here we go. So we've got the R for Rapunzel. And I think that's in that alphabet book. I'm not sure um, if it is. The only issue I have with this picture is that the, <laughs> the food is so tiny. There's no way I'm going to be able to colour them in individually. So yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do that. But the pictures are really nice. So some of them I do think, because this one's quite detailed, will be quite hard to colour. Um, but I just thought it'd be quite a nice like little one if I just want to do, you know, like a little picture. So I thought that'd be quite sweet. So I got that, mostly just so I could get <laughs> the free post and packaging. Because you might as well, because otherwise you're paying £4 for post and packaging. And I'm like, well, I might as well just get a book for that. <laughs> I 
Anywho, I got Hannah Lynn's Whimsy Girls at Work. So I finally got this one because it came out, I think, earlier this month. Um, so I finally got it. So it's two, it's 30 pages and two of each. I haven't coloured anything in it yet. Um, but they're slightly different. So like, for example, this is a, a she a doctor. I think she's a doctor. So you've got a picture of her here and then the next one's close up. So that just seems to be what it is. So you've got like a close up version and then a further away version. Some of them have got like less things going on in the background as well. So like here she's got a background, no background. So maybe it depends on like, you know, but I think it's quite cool. Like I like, um, the sort of jobs that she's got for all the women which is basically every sort of job that you could possibly have from being a mum to being a is it a barista there you go I was gonna say barrister and like barrister is not the right one to be a barista um or like a doctor or a mechanic so I like the fact that she's you know done quite a few different ones the madam president one when I first saw it because I didn't look at these and I didn't look at the little like names I just saw it and thought what job is that? I was like, she just sat at a desk. She looks like she's a lawyer or something. I was like, I didn't know what job it was. And then um, I saw there that said Madam, and I thought, oh, that's the American flag. I thought, oh, okay. Because obviously, like, um, uh, I mean, we have a prime minister, but we never see the prime minister sat behind a desk. They're always out doing something. <laughs> but I know, obviously, like, the Oval Office is very, like, um, like, I know what that looks like and stuff. So I know that's, like, very common to see in movies and things like that. So... Um, which is understandably why that's there. Um, so I thought that was kind of cool. I like this one as well. The person who, I think she's an army person. But I think she's pretty cool. I don't think I could handle being in the army though, personally. <laughs> It'd be too much carrying stuff and I'd be like, no. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> but so I'm quite excited to, to colour this in anyway. So we'll probably see some more pictures. Um, and also for Christmas, I decided I wanted to, finally, I've decided, I want to do some more watercolouring things. I want to just experiment and learn how to do it. But um, obviously I need something with watercolour paper. The colouring books do not have watercolour paper. So I can't learn like all the techniques or try out different things because obviously the paper doesn't hold lots of water. So um, Arteza, do you like uh, watercolour books? I was looking at... Um, I, ha I was looking at quite a few different companies watercolour things um, I didn't want to like again this is for Christmas so I didn't want anything too expensive but Arteza they do it so you can get a pack so this is like a pack of three I think there's 76 pages in each one of these I've only got one to show you rather than the other two um, this isn't like a massive size book I mean I did think it it was hard to tell in the picture like I could have gotten the ruler out to measure what the measurements were but it to me I thought it was going to be a bit bigger but it's fine like I don't mind it being this size because I'm just messing about in it if I'm honest but I might at some point get if I want to do bigger pictures then I might get like a big one but I prefer having it this way because I can either do landscapes or I could have a portrait I like the option of having both um so I have done a picture in it which I just did on Christmas day which was just like a just me playing around it was very quick so I used um Actually, I think I used my Arteza watercolour pencil, watercolour pencils, watercolour paint for this. So I just did like a wash of um, water and then just did two different blues and, you know, sort of blended them together. Then, very excitingly, I got my fan brush. <laughs> my fan brush. I really wanted to try doing the trees. So I like how my first one came out. The paint um, was a bit watered down. So for the others, it's not very visible. But, you know, I could always go back over it to add more depth or add the pen or something I just couldn't be bothered and then I got the fine tech paint to just do some stars in the sky because I was like I don't know what to do so this is just me messing around um but yeah the paper's quite thick um this is cold press I think cold press watercolor paper um so yeah you got it in a nice book it's a bit smoother on some pages and then a bit rougher on others so this is like rougher and then it's smoother on these ones so I think also it just depends on the thing but um yeah I thought this is quite good and this obviously no bleed through and stuff so obviously it took and um, there was quite a bit of water on there so that's done done its job which is one of the reasons why I wanted this so um yeah and it's got like a little book marked tassel so um I'm quite looking forward to doing sort of um some more of my own you know sort of like um artwork and stuff because I thought it'd be quite nice to try and experiment doing more um watercolor stuff and i probably do some gouache stuff in here as well um because i just thought why not it'd be 
fun to just experiment sometimes and I would like to know how to do watercolouring anyway so I thought I would um so the last thing I got that was like a gift is um and the box is coming undone is these so um I had the I had the 48 set which I had for review and stuff but um the lovely beautiful melody surprised me with getting me the 96 set and I genuinely <laughs> had no idea she was getting me anything and she didn't need to at all um by um but it was a really nice like surprise actually um but yeah she was so sweet and I honestly can't thank her enough it was such a lovely thing for her to do but she got me these so um I've swatched them out but I haven't actually tried them on anything yet um I tend to prefer if I'm using them in coloring books I like to use them on more single sided because they are um because I've water water based ink so they tend to like they will bleed through the paper because of if you want to blend them and stuff um you do tend to have to like go over it and scribble the page so they will go through so if it's single sided absolutely fine so i probably use them in the i have used them in Hannah Lynn's book so i'll probably use them a bit more in hers but also now i have my lovely watercolor paper i could use them in this so i'm um, quite excited to try that so you get 96 colors i haven't got like so here, all the colors are here um i can show you like a quick swatch as well they do come with a water brush pen as well which you can see here now i've already oh you can't see because <laughs> the camera's not in the way sorry guys yeah they come with this water brush pen i have got a set of these as well so i've got like a spare one now which is quite cool um yeah they come in these trays i haven't like taken them out because i haven't really got like um i'll probably keep them in this because i don't really have like a pencil case to put them in so that's fine they can just stay in here for now but yeah i'm quite excited to try them out so i can just show you a quick swatch of what they look like um oh here we go so there's quite lots of nice lots of colors there so i like that you've got some like lighter colors like lots of nice oranges and reds some pinks so you've got like some bright pinks some pastel pinks and then we've got some more purpley ones and then purple blue i mean the arteza colors they're very similar in everything that they have like their paints and their um pencils and things so and then there's the rest of the greys and stuff there so yeah I'm quite excited to use those at some point so that was really nice so I've got those and then the other things I have are things that I bought myself um which um so one of these I bought these I'm not sure if I've shown these before I may have done I can't remember but um I bought these in the summer um it's just a little gift to myself because why not <laughs> so i got the 30 super cutter soft um anniversary sets so these are limited edition so i'm really going to be really sad because these are really nice colors so when you can no longer buy these i will be sad because you can't buy them individually and you can buy them in this set so i do hope that they actually will release them properly it would be nice if they do so karen dash if you're listening please release these separately and add them to the 120 set because I like them um I've got a couple missing because I'm using them currently but you have these 30 colors so they're quite nice um you've got some nice skin color tones which I think are quite nice so again I'll show you um in my swatch book um so hold on I've got them here so these are the colors that you get so you get some nice so these like the Naples Oak and Light Flesh and Herculaneum Red they're quite nice colors to use for um skin colors and I also quite like the sepia colours that you've got here as well. Um, and you've got some nice, some nice blues and purples, which you don't quite have in the other sets. So um, I do quite like the colours that you get. And again, as I say, I hope that they, <laughs> they will um, maybe, you know, do something for them. Um, as in like keep them. But they all say limited edition on them. So you all know that they're a limited edition. Like this is the limited edition one. I don't know if you can really see that. I think you can maybe just about make out so um yeah they all have that on there so that you'll know that that's this is from the, this set um which is quite cool and then I bought these and then I thought I really liked them and so I thought well when I got a bit of money as a treat to myself I will buy myself the 120 set of Super Cut Soft so originally when I was looking at watercolour pencils I saw these and thought these were amazing and I really wanted them um, but they're also quite expensive so 
I then bought the Albrecht Durers instead. And actually from reviews and stuff, the Albrecht Durers are based, I would say, for me personally, they are on par with these. There isn't much of a difference, to be honest. Um, I think they're both amazing. So, um, you know, if you're like me, didn't have a lot of money at the time and you wanted to buy a set of really good quality watercolour pencils, I would say get the Albrecht Durers because they are more affordable and they are just as good as these. Um, however, um, the colours are different. So I do have obviously the Luminance pencil, so I'm very familiar with a lot of the Caran d'Ache colours and also the Neo colour twos. Um, so they do have slightly different colours in these. And I really like that you can, these work really nicely dry as well, better than the Pablos. I do find the Pablos are a bit harder and scratchier and I don't feel that they lay down as well on some paper. Some paper they look amazing on and others they don't. I do like the Pablos, but I feel that like these actually work better dry than the Pablos do. But obviously you can use these wet as well. So I was like, oh, amazing. So I got these um, and they do come in this beautiful tin. I've kept them in the tin. <laughs> I haven't got plans at the moment for putting them in a pencil case. I might do though. I'm not saying that I'm not going to. I just haven't got plans. So they do come in a beautiful colour. And these are packaged quite well. So you have got nice tin that are easy to take out. And again, you've got each layer has got this like bit here. So there's three layers and you've got little pull tags on this one. Um, a lot of people have already probably shown these anyway. So as it's a bit difficult for me to get the other tin bottom tin out i won't do that for the moment i will show you the swatches though so yeah i got these and i thought like as i got the 30 set i thought it'd be nice to get the the rest of them so now i have 150 colors oh, i'm so excited about that so um i treated myself to these so you could say this was an early christmas present to myself although i got them i think i got them in either september or october i can't remember a while ago anyway um so here are the swatches for these and they do have some beautiful colors i like that they have a really light pink and a light blue um and yellows and that is what you do not get in the albert Durer. so i do feel like that's where the albert Durer's are lacking a little bit but then you have got more skin colors in the albert Durer's. so there's pros and cons so you i bought these to sort of use alongside with them so i can mix and match them if i want or i could just use these on their own i can also use these with the new color two so if i do a newer color two background i want to put some pencils on top i can use these um i can use them alongside with the luminance obviously dry i can't wet the luminance because they're not watercolor pencils um but yeah they got like a really the only thing as i would say they haven't got a very dark green and that is what i find annoying about neo color 2 i want a really dark green you do kind of get it with the 30th edition 30th anniversary edition you do get a dark sap green so you do get a dark green there otherwise you will have to supplement it by putting a dark gray instead to make it a bit darker so that's kind of just what i've done instead but um yeah i do do you like a dark gray <laughs> no dark gray dark green we can um and then here are like the browns and things so and the gray so i really do like um the color range that you get with them and the metallic ones are okay as well i'm probably not really going to use the metallics so much though but yeah they're fine so basically that is those so like i said i did get them a while ago and i purposely left space so i could put them next to the 30th anniversary edition so i can have a look but as you can see there's no like although you've got apricot like it's not quite the same as the light flesh or the naples so really they're they're the better ones to have though it doesn't need to be like a dark flesh like 100 percent though i don't think so that's something else no so you just seem to have a 50 percent and then a 10 percent, which is a bit random but Although it's just dark and then light. Hmm, interesting. Um, so yeah, I really like these and I have used them quite a bit in my books, especially the picture I'm working on now because the background is insane and I'm not doing that with pencils. Um, so yeah, um, I really, really like these. So I'm very grateful for all the presents that I got for Christmas because obviously, you know, it's an, you don't always get gifts all the time and it's nice when we do get something and I just thought, especially with those um, Turner Acrylic Gouache paints, I thought it would be nice to show you them and the set that I got because I do, and I'm going to bring them back out because I feel like um, these aren't too expensive. And I know a lot of people are sort of moving into paints and stuff now and that this might be something that might interest some people. So I thought that's why I would show them to you. And as I say, I'm going to get some more colours. It's my birthday in February, so... 
I'm sure I will look up some stuff to for my family to get me <laughs> because again they're not too expensive and I don't really get much spent on me anyway so it just means it's something that I can get that I will I can use so thank you for watching and I will have some more videos soon I've got um, some reviews to do and obviously I'm going to show you my completed pics for November and December so I hope everybody's had a beautiful and lovely Christmas or if you're celebrating other um, religious holidays I hope you've had an amazing time celebrating those or if you don't celebrate anything I hope you just have a nice time in general um, I also hope everyone um, has been happy and healthy because I know it's cold and flu season so a lot of us maybe have been under the weather so I'm hoping if you're not very well you'll get better soon um, and obviously because it's going to be 2020 so we're going into a new decade into the 2020s now so that's exciting so I hope that um, everybody has a really good new year and if you're you know gonna have a party and stuff stay safe and responsible please <laughs> So that you know you're fine and healthy and all that jazz so i hope everybody will have a lovely new year and i can't wait to i don't know see what 2020 is going to bring hopefully lots of really fun things obviously the one thing i know that i have got to look forward to is my holiday which hopefully we're going to plan um obviously i'm going to go on that so that'll be really fun so yeah i will see you guys soon and <clears throat> Hope you're all well. Bye.